Hello, my victims! You may know me as Kill Count, or the Necromangler. Your favorite friendly neighborhood serial killer. You're dealing with yours truly, Daryl Vincent Rivers. And welcome to the Lunatic Show. Review in the barn. Review in the barn. Coming soon from Nevermore Production Films. Meet Sam, Josh, Michelle, Russell. Chris and Nikki, as they embark on a Halloween night they'll never forget. The Barn. The legend of the barn isn't just a campfire story anymore. It's something far worse. <laughs> the Barn. What happens every year when the harvest moon shines its brightest is about to happen again and again. Again. All they wanted was a Halloween they'd never forget. What they got was a night they prayed to survive. This Halloween. Not a thing away from the pup. Trick or treat. Smell my feet. It scared me to death. And die. Starring Mitchell Mussolino, Will Stout, Lexi Drips, Cortland Woodard, Nikki Darling, Nicholas Joshua, and Richard Bellock. Barn. Coming soon to video cassette. So I have the special trick or treat limited edition version of the barn. It comes with the feature film, commentary, a short film called All Hallows Eve, trailers, commercials, and deleted scenes. I love the design of the DVD's box. It looks just like a VHS. This version also includes a video game, which is made like a badass retro Nintendo game. So I give the barn a 10 out of 10 on the Keep It Evil meter. This movie really delivers when it comes to gore. A unique story. I'm square right there. And that campy 80s feel. The sun is setting and the moon is This is definitely gonna be one of my Halloween traditions to watch this film. So this film is directed by Justin Seaman. Now from what I've read, this story is actually something that he created as a child. So that makes it even more the badass movie that it is. That it started out such a long time ago in his mind but it's transferred to the screen now. The actors in the film did a great job of portraying teenagers in the 1980s. Even though I love seeing them die, 
their characters were relatable, and all the actors did a great job of portraying their part. The barn has such a great 80s atmosphere, which is what I really love about it. Even though it came out in 2016, you'd never be able to tell. Of course I love the antagonist more. The boogeyman wants to crack your back, cut you into pieces to carry in his sack. The pumpkin man, Hallow Jack, wants to carve out your head, slash you with his vines until you're dead. And if you get scared, don't you cry, or the candy corn scarecrow will sure to eat your eyes. But the protagonist is a tight-knit group of teenagers that try to make it through this last horrible Halloween night. I also like how they keep talking about the rules of Halloween. Justin Seaman obviously has a great respect and love for the holiday. So our dates are being really fucking boring. Still popcorn everywhere, bitch. I mean, it is Halloween after all. We are watching the barn right now. This is probably about the 10th time that I've watched it. Uh, my little brother Swine is over here checking out the video game. Oh shit Swine, looks like you're fucked already. So I'm going to watch Swine play through the game a little bit so you all can get a feel of what the game is like. See if he doesn't suck ass. I'm already really liking what I see. It's a linear gameplay, just like the old NES games. I'm also really digging the 8-bit uh, soundtrack to the game. The sound effects are badass. So as you go through the game, it gives you prompts. They're pretty easy to follow. Controls are very easy. So we got some kind of fucking scarecrow zombie fuckers here. Come on, Swine, stop fucking with them and kill them. You want to watch your health bar down here at the left, and your scores on the right. You do your special move. Hell yeah. And the basic premise of the game is to go through save everybody from the film so they're gonna be in each uh, each one of these houses and every time you uh, you save a character you actually can uh, use that player or use that character so it's kind of like a boss level or uh, it takes a little bit more skill inside the houses as you're on uh, corner as you can see but like I said as you uh, as you save each character Get to uh, choose them. You choose each one from the film. Each one has their own move. Oh man, this town is really weird. Yeah, so definitely an added bonus to how badass this movie is is this game. If you're a fan of 1980s B slasher films, The Barn is for you. I highly suggest it. Swan and I loved it. Thanks for tuning in to the second episode of The Lunatic Show. Keep it evil, my victims. As you can see, I brought my girlfriend with me. She fell asleep again, though. Come on, pay attention to the movie. Just laying in the middle of the floor.